All right, we've got the wetsuits on. It's her boat right there, and we are going out to sea. It is a beautiful day here out in the Gold Coast in Australia and uh, gonna be recording another vlog for you guys to share some of the activities and festivities and things that I'm up to um, during my time here to share with you guys a little bit. Uh, it's about 6.30 a.m. right now and uh, we woke up around 6 doing my ritual right now and then also gonna be doing a little bit of work and uh, coordinating with my team back in North America a little bit just because of the time zone. I've gotta wake up and do some things super early here but uh, today we're gonna drive out to Byron Bay which is actually one of our favorite spots uh, we actually went there the other day had an awesome time uh, love just the healthy environment and you guys know me the the raw food and the plant-based uh, foods that they have there um, gonna be hitting the gym pretty soon this morning as well get a good workout in with my girlfriend it's been pretty consistent with that uh, the entire time traveling around finding gyms and joining and sticking with that. Got a lot of supplements, just to give you guys an idea, a lot of things that we bring with us. Uh, this is all supplements here, and, and we, got, we got high standards. We travel around with all our supplements. I'm actually gonna be making a pre-workout uh, here pretty soon. This got uh, BCAAs and L-arginine and create um, uh, glutamine and, uh, L-carnitine and all the good stuff um, to help us for our workout. And I've got the GoPro here. Gonna be using this for um, doing some snorkeling today in uh, Byron Bay. Hopefully see some turtles and maybe even some dolphins too. Should be a lot of fun. Uh, but I'll share more with you guys the experience and what we're doing. Um, and uh, hopefully you guys can enjoy these uh, vlogs I've been sharing with you guys. Enjoy. All right, we've arrived here at the dive center, just waiting for more people to join us. Uh, got a lot of cool pictures here of different fish that we might see. Hopefully, we got the sea turtles, we got manta rays and sharks and whales we and. That's not what we want to I think they're friendly sharks. They're they're the vegetarian sharks. We are going out to Julian Rocks, which is a really great dive spot here. All the different species of fish. And then here's the green turtle and the shark and different rays and whatnot. Are you going to be able to attract some fish today? Um, yeah, I'm gonna feed them. Yeah, you're gonna feed Lure the fish. them in. What are you gonna feed them with? I'm not gonna feed them, it's bad for them. But we did that once in Thailand with a piece of mango and we had all the fish. Yeah. We just finished our snorkel tour. Um, had a lot of fun, saw a lot of different types of fish. Saw a turtle. Saw <laughs> any predators? <laughs> we saw something with we, teeth. We, we, saw, we saw a predator, we're not uh, sure what we'll it was. A, cl a clip of it. Yes, we got it on the GoPro. We took a lot of GoPro footage. I'm not sure how it turned out, but 
Um, yeah, it's good. Now we're gonna go get a, a healthy smoothie and we're heading off to uh, a cool place where we're gonna meditate and check out a lot of different crystals. And it's a very crystal energetic, island. so I actually call it Crystal Castle. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, we'll uh, keep you guys posted. strawberry smoothie with uh, plant-based protein and coconut and some other superfoods and what'd you get? Mm, it's really hot. So I got a superfood um, hot chocolate so it's got like rock cacao and it just, it's got mushrooms and a bunch of different things. Coconut oil. Coconut oil. It doesn't taste good. I just want it. It, <laughs> good. it really doesn't. It tastes like rock, just rock cacao. And you also got but mushroom, some mushrooms in that too. Mm -hmm. Then here we got. So this is a wrap. Falafel wrap, raw falafel. That's mm, really good. All right, now we're heading off to the Crystal Castle. made it to the Crystal Castle. We got this uh, guidebook here and a map and uh, right now we're walking through the gardens and gonna check out uh, check out the place and see what it has to offer. Uh, there's a, a meditation that we're gonna do in uh, about 10 minutes or so that um, it's like a, a singing meditation and you know they say that um, you know, you can like meditate inside the crystals and around them and whatnot, and it helps you to have a deeper meditation just because the the energy that the crystals um, emit and whatnot. So, first time meditating and being around an environment like this, but I always enjoy it. Always very peaceful, very relaxing, very healing, and uh, should be a lot of fun. This here is pretty amazing, guys. I'm gonna show you the Enchanted Cave. It's just right in here. This here is a massive crystal. And it is pretty incredible. You can actually go inside and it's pretty amazing. This video does not do it justice. So we're just waiting to do a meditation right now outside the peace room. It's about a 40 minute meditation. Um, we'll show you guys the cool environment here. It's pretty cool. And then we found this really cool crystal right here. Taking some photos here. This is an amethyst.
So we just finished our sound meditation here and we just did a peace chant um, at this monument right here. And this is uh, one of, I think, seven famous monuments um, that are all over the world. This is the one that they have here in Australia. And uh, we did uh, the Great Bell Chant at the Kala Chakra World Peace Stupa, the Crystal Castle. So quite an experience, had a really powerful deep meditation. Um, the sounds were really healing. Um, uh, the teacher gave us um, a, uh, a quartz in her hand while we're doing the meditation. And I guess the quartz has um, certain properties that help you clear your mind or clear certain parts of your body. So you place it, the crystal, at different parts of your body, whatever that you need clearing of. Um, but it's pretty, pretty amazing, uh, pretty deep. I'm very sensitive to different energies. And this environment here is just really powerful, very cleansing, very grounding, um, and a lot of fun. So if you ever get a chance to come here, highly recommend it. This right here is pretty amazing, guys. We've got some incredible crystals here. Two massive amethysts that uh, we just took a bunch of photos with. But uh, let me show you guys just this amazing, breathtaking environment. These are known as the Crystal Guardians. And it says here, standing at a breathtaking five and a half meters, the Crystal Guardians are an exquisite smoky quartz geode with delicate sprinklings of amethyst and calcite crystal flowers, as well as clear quartz and agate. Not only are these natural monuments the world's tallest crystals, they're also unique due to their makeup, says Naren. If they were the size of my hand, they would still be among the rarest crystals ever seen. I've never seen anything like this in 30 years of collecting crystals. Some have likened their shape to a pair of dolphins playing. Traveling from a, from a remote location in Uruguay, South America, it took nothing short of a miracle. Three very large trucks, two cranes, and skillful engineering to bring these massive geodes weighing a mammoth 20 tons to their new home. An extensive crystal healing grid was created and carefully laid in the slab before the guardians arrived from their impressive journey across the ocean from the other side of the world to their final home here in the Shambhala, Shambhala Gardens. This here is a pretty remarkable area. Got some crystals and a huge Buddha right over there. Here we got the labyrinth. Here's a crystal in the shape of a wizard's hat. That was a pretty amazing experience, guys. Probably one of the most uh, beautiful things I've seen. Um, been to a few places in the world that are very energy rich. Um, one of them is in Bali. Another one is in Sedona, Arizona. Maybe parts of Thailand too, but uh, this is definitely up there as well. So. Um, really amazing experience, just really grounded me, feel very centered, um, very peaceful, relaxed, don't even feel like talking right now, just feel like just being very present right now, which is beautiful. Okay, we're now heading to one of my favorite plant-based restaurants called Exilba. Um, I've been to plant-based vegetarian restaurants all over the world, and this is probably one of my favorite and one of the best that I've been to. Um, it's not all raw food. They do cook some of their food, um, but it is all plant-based. So I'll show you guys uh, the spot and I'll show you guys the food that we're gonna get. We 
we are here at Exilaba. And as you can see, all plant-based restaurant and bar. We make everything from scratch. Paleo bread, special sauces, whole food ingredients. Our goal is to recreate your favorite dishes with plant-based ingredients that leave you feeling nourished, replete, and happy. Everything is plant-based, gluten-free, vegan, paleo, low allergy, local, herbal, fresh, and unique. Here we got some tea-infused mushrooms. It's pretty good. And this is a raw plant-based burger. It's supposed to be one of the best uh, plant-based raw veggie patties I've ever had. It's got a lot of, um, made of different nuts and seeds and variety of different ingredients. Hit me up. 